Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another video on Oblivion. The, vi the title of this video is How Much is Too Much? And what I mean by that is how much playtime is too much playtime for this freaking game, all right? Now, we have characters that are level five, level 50, you broke the game, they're level 2000. You know, there's all these different characters that, you know, you have and you play. How much is too much? And this is all my opinion. <clears throat> For me, my average level that I get to by the time that I switch characters is about 20 to 30. That is the range. Probably more, more closer to 25. Um, but about 20 to 30 is the range of which I switch characters. And the reason why is very simple. Oblivion has this strange way of kind of having scaling difficulty and scaling equipment rather than um, dynamic equipment. So a le at level 1 you're doing the ex same exact sword fighting as level 20, as level 40. So to me, about level 20 when you have a powerful character um, and the character, you, you already see the end game, to me there's really no point to get to the end game because you already know what the end game is going to be. Right now, sometimes, occasionally, I'll have a high-level character. Um, if it's a complicated to use character, and I am just leveling up by luck, then yeah, it, I'll take an extra time. I did it with a battle mage once. I made a battle mage, and I used the battle mage for so many, so many like dungeon raids and Diedrich. I did all the Diedrich shrines. I did all the guilds with this character. Like, I beat the game with the character, and I just realized that half of that time, I was using the same character fighting the same enemies. It, there's no variety. I mean, it's kind of cool, I guess, to have a character with seven level 100 skills, but at the same time, the way that Oblivion works, it's just not built... <clears throat> I feel like Oblivion is just not built to have... A character do a bunch of stuff I very rarely have a character that uh, in the time that I play them they are the leader and the highest rank of a guild of uh, more than one guild sometimes I have a character who's the highest rank of two guilds but I just I don't play the characters long enough to get through the guilds I just don't and it's because the game gets really boring at that point you know, you're fighting the same enemies. Now, granted, I've also played a lot of the game. So for me, 90% of the time I play the game, I'm just experimenting with a new character. So that that is definitely a factor. But, I mean, it's just the, the late game of this game. By the time you hit level 30, you've seen everything. And you're just fighting the hardest enemies, it feels like. So, that is it. Guys, that is uh, too much oblivion. How much is too much, you know? Um, every once in a while I'll live stream the game and have fun with it, but I don't know. I just feel like I've experienced so much. This is why, this is why mods exist, guys. This is why mods exist, is to spice the game up. And I wish that I like the PC version. I hate the PC version. I'm a console pl pleb. But I'd love to know what you guys think in the comments below. What is the average level that you get to by the time you swap characters? I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I'll see you in the next episode of Stream Vlog or Steam Post of whatever I decide to make.